The K40 laser is a nice simple machine, but it needs some modifications to be more flexible. The setup is not complicated, but poor instructions are supplied with the machine. It brings a spring-loaded aluminum frame that is only useful if you are engraving small pieces, so I removed it. Remove one and a half inches from the aluminum bed and one inch from the suction nozzle with the angle grinder. I cut five aluminum tubes and added some nuts as spacers for height adjustments. I knew that the focus distance was 50 millimeters. On another channel I saw how the sharpness of the laser beam was tested, so I cut four wood strips one inch wide by 12 inches length, aligned them at an incline and lasered them at different speed and intensities. So I found out that the focus length is pretty forgiving. It can cut and engrave from 46 to 54 millimeters focus length. A small conical wood piece was cut to set the distance between lens and workpiece. Went to a home improvement store and found roofing spikes, plates for trusses, $1.10 each. Nine pieces were aligned and screwed to aluminum flats with short screws. The spike bed is good for engraving but not for cutting because the laser beam is reflected on the back of the workpiece after the last pass. I had a small radiant fan in my garage and decided to attach it to an existing hole on top of the power supply. Two small holes had to be drilled to attach it. It works really well and it extinguishes the flames while the laser is working. Inkscape and K4 Whisper is what I have been using and I'm really happy with the results. Besides that, free software. The first laser firing gave me a crooked line so I adjusted the second mirror and I got a sharp dot. A panda face was engraved. Too slow and strong settings for my first test. The elephant engraving came out good after adjusting the second mirror and adding the fan. The whole time I was only engraving and it looked great. While removing a workpiece I burned my hand on the mirror head. I thought the mirror head was supposed to get hot. Costes were engraved and they looked good, but when I was trying to cut, the laser beam was cutting and burning the edge on the coasters at the, in the same pass, and the mirror head was really hot. I loosened the mirror head and turned it clockwise and marked it. Now it's cutting very clean and the mirror head is not getting hot at all. Once all the mirrors were set in the correct position, the coasters looked really well. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.